just a couple of challenges we face. I mean, first of all, we all know that we face the, the time and the resource crunch, right? Uh, we spend the time developing. We have dates that we're supposed to hit. And uh, we never have enough time to do as much as we'd like to do. You know, complete, perfect testing is impossible. So it's all a risk balance uh, uh, game uh, to get things out the door. The other problem that we face uh, today is, you know, we don't have real uh, training programs for, for testers. We don't have uh, college degrees. Uh, so we're trying to find folks uh, with an interest and an aptitude. Uh, we're trying to train them on the fly with, uh, you know, on the job. So, uh, you know, it means uh, that it's just harder to get started. As a performance tester, I'm, I'm always focused on, on those kinds of um, those kinds of issues, right? And what I see all the time, it's very consistent, is uh, folks are leaving performance testing until very, very late in the cycle. And what uh, ends up happening is you find big performance problems uh, when you're on a deadline crunch, when you don't have time necessarily to fix them, or you find out that uh, some of your architectural assumptions are unsound and you don't have time to fix them. Um, so, you know, the we read about them in the paper, uh, you know, the big performance issues, can't handle all the load, sites go down. Um, those are the ones that, um, you know, those are the big ones to me. Performance testing, it's, a, it's really an interesting thing, right? My, my mom tells people that uh, I help people make websites go fast. And uh, while that's true, uh, performance testing is really about trying to make sure that the uh, the applications, uh, when they get into production, right, they're going to be able to support uh, support the load, right, in a way that has acceptable experience to the end user, and it's all a balance, right? What's acceptable? How uh, how many users? It's all a matter of business risk, right? So we're trying to balance that uh, that what do we need uh, with what do our uh, customers want with what we can afford to build. So it's it's uh, some combination of that. Uh, uh, seemingly obvious requirement with all of our restrictions and budget and time. I'll tell you, the best thing that any tester or test team can do is to make sure that before they get too entrenched in what they're doing, they understand not just uh, the mission that they've been given, but the underlying reason behind the mission. As testers, we tend to focus uh, on our uh, seemingly internal desire for perfect quality. Uh, the truth is that we all uh, work for companies that have missions themselves. We're bringing software to market for a purpose. And the purpose, unless you're in pure research and development, probably isn't perfect quality. And so truly understanding what's going to make the business and the application a success uh, before we get uh, focused on what might turn out to be nitpicky details instead of true business problems uh, will really help focus your testing throughout the process. Agile itself, when you look back at the manifesto, is really the way that I've seen a lot of great companies develop software for a very long time, before the word got popular. Um, there are uh, pockets of Agile which seem to say that uh, the, the traditional tester uh, doesn't so much fit in the process. Well, the truth is that somewhere along the way, we need folks checking, uh, you know, looking for problems, looking for bugs at a code level, at an integration level, at a system level, and, and then again at the user level. So the name of the person who checks these things or uh, where they come from the organization to me is less important. What matters to me is that uh, these things are, are being checked in a way that makes sense for the organization. So for a lot of folks who uh, grew up in a non-agile environment as testers, um, this is a scary proposition because now they've got to have more understanding across the entire life cycle, right? They need a deeper knowledge of systems sometimes, users sometimes. Uh, but at the end of the day, um, as long as testers can contribute to the team, right, and don't, uh, don't act like a union, right, and we pitch in and we help out, we use your skills, I think there's a natural fit.